Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to be playing T2 the arcade game for Super Nintendo. Uh, this was the arcade machine that I owned. I I loved playing this game. Uh, the arcade version. Now, I rented this at Blockbuster a couple times actually like I yeah I I got the arcade machine when I was in my 20s but before that I uh you know I I well I had played it at the arcades a couple times but I played a good amount on uh, Super Nintendo the several times I rented it this was uh a damn near impossible game I don't remember exactly what the problem was it's been a long time since I played this version but there there was an issue with this version. I remember I don't think I made it ever I made it past the uh, truck part protecting the truck. And if I did, I don't remember. Now, you could use the Super Scope for this game. I remember I used it. I loved the Super Scope as a kid. You know, any chance I got to use it, I was on that. Graphics are pretty good for the Super Nintendo. Yeah, the arcade game was badass. Ah, uh, one of my guns didn't, uh, didn't rumble or whatever, you know, make the, make the fucking gun movement or whatever, you know, it had a, it had something built into it to where it would, uh, like, rumble like a machine gun. Yeah, I used to use, uh, you know, player one and two at the same time. Just have both them guns and just kick an ass. I beat that game repeatedly. Obviously, because I had unlimited credits. But then it broke, I never got it fixed, and then I sold it. Arcade machines take up way too much space, and I, I am very limited on space, so... I currently, you know, I don't have any arcade machines. And they're expensive as fuck, and they require a lot of maintenance. Like, there, there's many factors. One of these days, I'd like to have a main cabinet. I, I have one that I built myself, but I'd like a professional-made one. Man, when the Terminator 2 movie came out, that was some big shit. Like, Terminator 2 was huge. Oh, I've been terminated. Still might be my favorite Terminator movie. I, I really liked Salvation. Terminator Salvation was a badass movie. I'd say I, I probably like Salvation the most, then Terminator 2, then the original Terminator, then Terminator 3, and then you got the rest of them. Which, that last new one that I saw, ugh. Did not care for it. Not at all. Seems so basic now. Just killing Terminators like crazy. I don't know what to say about this game. 
It's not bad by any means, and for the time, it was really fun. You know, I'd at least be able to get my fix, my Terminator fix. Pretty lame compared to the arcade version, but they still tried, you know? And, you know, they, they did decent. I, I sure as shit can't say that this is a horrible port. Like, for the Super Nintendo's graphics, this was pretty good. And it's not like the arcade machine had, like, vastly superior graphics anyway. It was just a little bit better. It's hard, you know, like, finding a Terminator 2 arcade machine that's fully functional in an arcade is very hard. That's a rare thing to come by. I saw one at uh, Galloping Ghost a couple years ago, but the screen was all fucked up. You know, it was all yellow, just I, I didn't even play it. There was something wrong with the uh, uh, monitor. It had been burnt out, or uh, the color fucked up, or something happened. There they are, Golden Terminators. I thought that was so cool as a kid. Just the thought of Golden Terminators blew my mind. I always thought this part was cool, too. Like, you got the soldiers attacking, and then, uh... You know, here comes the big fucking boss man. Just come to kick ass. You know, and the arcade version had some gore to it. Like, when those guys died, they, they'd blow into pieces. Probably the coolest part of the game, in my opinion. And then the gold Terminators pop out.
Excellent. Oh, the Terminator series. They, it was one of my favorites as a kid. I had so many toys. I had the one toy where you could uh, put flesh on a Terminator. I thought that was amazing. You know, like you put flesh on him and then you could, you know, you could rip it off and shit. Have little damage shit. I, I remember stabbing that thing with a fucking pencil and all sorts of shit. Get that damage going. Yeah, I had, a, I had a good amount of action figures. You know, not that many. I sure, you know, my parents were never rich by any means. I'm, but they, they bought me a lot of toys. You know, I was a single child. So I had a little bit of everything. The The main collection I had was uh, Ninja Turtles. You know, like, that was my favorite. But I definitely had a couple Terminator action figures. Had some Ghostbusters. I wasn't too much into G.I. Joe. I had a couple of them. Yeah, the G.I. Joe ones were irritating because those little pieces got lost so fucking quick. And who knows what the fuck happened to that shit. Somehow got thrown away or sucked up in the vacuum or whatever. I'd always lose the guns for the G.I. Joe shit. Same goes for Legos. Like, I loved Legos as a kid, and I played with them a lot, but those pieces would go everywhere, man. Like, they would get lost all over the place, and mixed in with shit, and just... So much stuff would happen to them Legos. Of any of the action figures, it was always the damn pieces that would go missing. But Ninja Turtles held up pretty good. I ended up uh, selling my Ninja Turtle collection for quite a good amount of money. Like, I, I definitely, uh, I got my worth out of them as a kid, and then I got some damn good money for them as an adult. A lot of that stuff had survived my childhood, and I, I kept my favorite action figures. You know, like, I got them on the shelf. Uh, I believe there's seven of them. But the rest of them, I, you know, I sold. Uh, Pizza Face was always one of my favorite action figures as a kid, and I, I still love him to this day. He's just, he's fucking ridiculous. So fucking cool. Yeah, the Terminator action figures I also sold. I did not have that many, yeah, you know, not that many of them, uh, survived my childhood. I was hard on my toys, man. I, I played with a lot of toys. You know, I lived in Chicago as a kid, and I lived in a bad part of the neighborhood, so I wasn't really allowed outside that much. Because, I mean, there there was fucking kids getting shot left and right. So I, I stayed in a lot and played with my toys, played with Nintendo, uh, watched movies on my VCR, which... I know that sounds ridiculous, but for the time, VCRs were expensive as shit. Hell, a VHS tape costs like 80 bucks if you wanted to buy it. And that's why Blockbuster and all that shit, that's why the rental places did so good, because people didn't have no 80 bucks to buy no goddamn videotape. And if you did, you were doing good in life. Like, if you had that kind of money to fucking spend on a VHS tape... But, you know, it was it was high-tech for the time. You could watch that movie whenever you wanted. Like, whenever. And you could watch it as many times as you wanted. So this is the part that I don't think I get past very much. Or ever, for that matter.
Now the gunner's already dead. Oh yeah, this truck's going down. I remember being so frustrated with this as a kid. I tried it so many times. And there goes the truck. I don't know if you can shoot the truck yourself also. I don't know if the running gold terminators hurt the truck. I don't know shit on this. Like, I am no expert of the Super Nintendo game. I have never beaten it. I may have gotten past this truck part, but I don't remember. It's possible. I probably didn't. I don't know. I remember being very, very frustrated, though. But, they, you know, that'll do it for this. I'm not, I'm not going to keep attempting that, because it's fucking bullshit. Pretty cool graphics for the Super Nintendo. I mean, look at that. that that's pretty fucking cool. That's, that's a big sprite, too. I don't know. I, I just, I have a strong feeling like I never got past this. And look, even with me not playing, it looks like he's taking the same amount of damage at the same time. I remember reading something about this game. Like how they fucked up on something, and I think it was that truck. I can't remember now. There there was something about that, though. I remember reading something about that. But, anyway, that'll do it for this video. Terminator fucking rocks. I I really wish that they would uh, do better with the movies. And, you know, it's, it's not going to happen. They're just going to keep fucking them up more and more. And, you know, eventually, I believe the Terminator series will go off into obscurity. But, at least they made a good game. Like, I... Well, this was a decent game, too. This is a very good uh, rail shooter for the arcade. This one, not so much, but... I mean, it's okay, but... Uh, the Terminator game that I was playing on uh, Xbox One X or PlayStation 4 or some shit. I, I did a video on it. That one's pretty fucking good, and I keep meaning to go back to it. Like, that, that is a generally fun game, and it feels like the Terminator universe. I was happy to see them finally make a game that was good and represented the Terminator universe pretty much perfectly. Because there has been a shit ton of bad Terminator games. An absolute shit ton. It was just nice to see one good one come out. But that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourselves a great day.